We're gonna do our Japan haul. Yay! Yay! So, Over haul. <laughs> Joyce is here to see the haul. I'm excited. Um, Cause I haven't showed her any of these things nope. yet. So she's really excited. Yes. Um, this is a hat you can only get at Tokyo Disney. Um, it's super cute. You can get these in different colors. So they had them when I went, their big thing was like this red uh, Mickey stuff. So they had this in a really bright cherry red. Um, they also have it in like a lavender color. They also have it in hot pink. I think the they one have was... one in like holographic glitter. Yeah, I think what I wanted, what I had my eye on was the, the rainbow color. Like yeah, the, the super one. shiny one. Yeah, um, for me, I got the mint green because I like this color, but <laughs> as I was walking through the park, I saw people with the pink one. There's a light pink one too. Mm. And I was like, Mm -hmm. uh, I kind of really want that too. But the hat's like $30, so it's like one. Yeah, it's enough. It's enough, yeah. and maybe it'll give me an excuse to go uh, again and get more. So I'm just gonna wear this for the rest of the video. Okay. So yeah, the first thing, Joyce is like staring at it, she's like, oh my god. Um, <laughs> when you go to Tokyo Disney, you gotta get a Mickey burger. Bag. Oh my god. Now they have the smaller versions of the pass holder bag, but they also have this ginormous one. Um, it's got the floppy ear. <laughs> Can we just talk about this <laughs> hidden Mickey sesame seed right it's so there? Cute. How cute it's is that? <laughs> so these bags, I looked everywhere for this. We went so the thing about Tokyo Disney and Disney Sea is that you uh when if you see something at a store get it because they don't it's like in the u.s parks they sell everything at the emporium at multiple and stores. multiple stores and yeah. it's probably the, basically like the same stuff yeah yeah yeah, yeah but yeah. at tokyo disney and disney sea it's specialized per shop so sometimes you won't see things so if you're like oh i'll just go back or i can get it at the main downtown whatever disney store no don't you will not find it, it. <laughs> so i looked everywhere for this Stupid burger bag. Um, I had a request and I was, I got two actually, one for a friend of mine as well. <clears throat> um, Carson, you'll meet him later in November because he's coming out for a Disney trip. But the last shop we went to, which was the big one in the, um, the Main Street area, oh. in the corner, mm -hmm. like on the bottom, mm -hmm. were these bags. <laughs> and Poor Alan was following me around. It was Aww. it's really humid in July and he's like, Can we go home? Like why are we still shopping? And I was like, We need to find the bags. We haven't found the burger bag. And when we finally saw it, I like ran over and I was like, ah, the bag, the bag! And I just grabbed him. Um I saw bags this size of Pooh's head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. I've seen the Pooh head ones, but they're not as cute as this burger bag. No. And honestly, I looked for the 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 yeah, Duffy think, versions one. I wanted. Duffy. I no, wanted have... Shelly May, and I couldn't find Shelly May in this size. But I did find the burger. But don't they have also a white Mickey version and a black Mickey version of this bag? That's or seasonal. That... Yeah, and they didn't. This is more like every day. I mean, you'll see this. They also have these as just a cushion. This one is a bag, so it's got it has handles, handles right? It has a long handle body too, strap. body strap. Um, and I've seen people who take the body strap and um, link it through and make it as a book bag, so you can put this on your bag, on your, on your back oh, too. That so that's really cool. But I know a lot of people who just kind of use the bag and put it on their arm. Um, it's got a gigantic zipper in the back. Why did you take this? Because when it's hot, the last thing you want is like fuzzy things touching That's you. True. Okay, December comes around. December comes this. around. So the pockets are really big. It's got like small pockets on the on the front here so you can put smaller things. But it's basically just a giant stuffed um, cushion with a pocket in the bag. You could fit a lot in this bag. Yeah, it looks pretty deep. Yeah, it's like really it. deep in the yeah. small pockets. Oh, yeah, and yeah. they're all like fuzzy material. Oh yeah, yeah. Looks yeah. It's really nice. So yeah. definitely burger bag. That's cute. It's 3,800 yen. So the thing about yen is that for the dollar, the dollar is actually a little, it's it's pretty strong now. I mean, as it, more than it was before. So if you look, it's 3,800 yen. Going to... So 3,800 3, yen is... 
it's about $38. So you yeah. just move the decimal place over twice and you get $38. Mm -hmm. Um, really, it's more like probably 36 something, 35, 36. Yeah, it's higher than the dollar. Yeah. So for 36 bucks, I feel like the merchandise at Tokyo Disney, although pricey because it's Disney, was not as expensive as the U.S. stuff. U.S. stuff. I mean, you were buying some shirts yesterday at Disneyland, and they're like easily five. 40 bucks yeah. a t-shirt. Hats were like, how much was my hat? That was like, it was 20, like almost $30. Almost $30 a hat. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, for 36 bucks, you get a giant burger bag that you can only get at Tokyo Disney. It's worth it. I feel like if that was US price, that would be like at least $60. This would be at least $60 yeah. if it was in a US park. Oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah. Um, and also, I would say be careful when you're buying these online because a lot of them are fake. Um, so there are subtle differences in the way and you can look up videos as to like how you can tell if it's fake or not but just be careful um, because you know you don't want to have to pay more than like if you're gonna pay like 80 bucks for this I don't I mean that's not fun or a hundred bucks I've seen what, them listed for 150 like what I would do is I would go find a reliable Tokyo shopper in Japan yeah, who will yeah. send things to the U.S. and, and I, I've shopped at those companies so yeah. you can buy this at a reputable company or person mm -hmm. and you can you know that yes it is legit you know Tokyo Japan stuff and not okay and you'll pay a little bit more because it's like their time and the shipping, shipping and all yeah. that so shipping is actually really expensive that's the big that's the big thing um, shipping within Japan is not. Shipping outside of Japan is actually quite expensive. Yeah. So I will say, um, I really love the Tokyo Kawaii Club um, subscription, subscription service. service. And I get that, uh, if you get that every month, you get really cute stuff. But they also sell on their website, and I'll put the link in our description uh, for the Tokyo Kawaii Club. You can get kind of like big ticket items like this. Um, they also do popcorn buckets and specific like Tokyo Disney merch that's like very um, iconic. So, but there are bigger items that he doesn't stuff in his mailer, which is mm -hmm. uh, like a... It's just not feasible, but he yeah. will ship them separately if you want them. And yeah. he, he has a, a few I things on there. Nice. Like he definitely sells the pass holder cases. He does, yep. yep. Um, yeah. But I'm sure if you, he's really nice, I'm sure if you made a request um, he would uh, get it for you if, if available and you would just pay him for it because you can only get these yeah. in Japan. Yeah. Okay, That's I know. Yeah. She's just gonna squish it for the rest of the video. <laughs> All right. I, this is just a, also a mishmash. Like I have some Disney stuff, but I also have non-Disney things that are just from Japan. I'll try to do my best to like sort through them. Okay. okay. So the next thing I got is kind of a set because I love this. I I really didn't think I would fall in love with this stuff, but I did. Um, in Tokyo Tokyo Disney Sea, <clears throat> Americans are really confused about Duffy. They're like, who the hell is Duffy? Um, Duffy is technically Mickey Mouse's teddy bear. Um, and Minnie Mouse gifts Mickey with a teddy bear named Duffy. And, <laughs> and Shelly Mae is like his girlfriend so that he Mickey meets. Okay. That Mickey gives to, to Minnie. And then there's Gelatoni, which is the cat. Which is the cat. And then there's the it, oh, oh Lonnie uh, has a turtle. I forget the, the bunny. turtle's name. And the, the bunny, bunny uh, Stella Lou. Stella Lou, Stella Lou. And those are friends that Duffy meets. He gets on a boat and then it goes and travels. And the, those are the friends he meets in his travels. If you go, if you go to Disney Sea, there's like a whole stage show. You meet all these characters. It's a big thing. It's a big thing. Like everybody, hardcore. Yeah. yeah. Like in groups, it's it's one. It's they love their characters. It's kind of nice because the adults go in just as hard, if not harder, than the kids themselves. They love fanning out over things. Um, so I didn't think I would like Duffy, honestly, because Alan was just like, oh. <laughs> but the more you see of the characters, kind of the cuter they are, and everybody uh, has like complete 
um, Disney bounding with, uh, with these characters and you see them and uh, I didn't like, uh, I know people who like Gelatoni and I know people who like Stella Lou. Mm. Uh, uh, I saw the plushes and I was like, mm, I like Shelly May. Okay. Shelly May's super <laughs> cute and it's the ears, if you touch them, here touch them, they're really <gasps> soft. <laughs> oh my god. They're super soft. How do you, you just put them on. I know, but what do you call this fabric? Do I don't know. Super, oh, super soft wow, fleecy of it. And girls would wear these and then have like brown dresses to match this and like have little pink accessories oh, and like that is head to toe. That's so Duffy's super cute. And she Shelly May is super cute. I really love. So I couldn't find Shelly May in the giant bag, which I really, really wanted. I saw actually saw a girl wearing it. And when I say girl, I mean like she was eight years old. And I kept following her because I really wanted to you steal that bag. Her out. You I did. Her out. I creeped her out. And I was just like, oh, get back. Did you ask her, hey, where's it? No, no because <laughs> I looked at every shop I couldn't find it, but I did find this Shelly May, um, which was new. This just came, this. These are newer bags. <clears throat> um, I definitely debated on whether or not I should get this or the stuffed animal. And to me, the stuffed animal was cute because you could buy outfits for them. Oh, the, doll oh, the dolls! Okay, yeah, 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 you can yeah, buy the, the plush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can you can dress, dress them up, up and you can like. And all around the parks, there are places where you can like put your put your stuffed animal, your plush, and take photos of it because they have like miniature photo setups. So ridiculously cute. Um, although it's a little creepy when you see like 60 year old men with their Shelly Mae dolls like doing it and they're alone. To each his own. Let's to not judge. I know, I okay. know. But I'm kind of like, not oh, I wish there was someone else to share in your love of this and that you weren't alone. No, he's not alone. He's with everybody. That's in the true. Parts. He's with he's okay. with his Shelly May. Okay. Anyway, so this is a crossbody bag. It's got um, a strap, and I actually used this um, when I went back to Disney Sea the second day, oh. and it was great. I kind of wish it's the same soft yeah. plushy fabric. I kind of wish it was a little bit bigger. Yeah. What could you put? What did you put in? I this put thing? in like I had to switch from my wallet to a smaller wallet to fit it. Mm -hmm. And I could fit in like an extra, my phone, um, and I have to carry my like insulin and my stuff in there, and so that was good to put in there too. Um, but it's super cute. It's a really good park bag because it's small. It's very light, um, so you can put things in it. But um, yeah, Shelly May, she has creepy. <laughs> she has blue eyes. Um, the bag, the handles. It's all really, really, really soft. I will say it's super cute and when you see them all around the parks you're just kind of like yeah I get I get why people like them it's like they they did have a Duffy station what before Pixar Pier was there when it still was like Paradise Pier there was like a little Duffy area um, they don't have it anymore though but I think um, in Disney World and definitely in Alani Oh, they, right, 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 they right, have right, a lot right. of they Duffy and Shelly Mae, and they have a little turtle guy who lives there too. The turtle guy has a name. If you know the name, put him in the comments. I I haven't been to Alani. I want to go, but um, there's a lot of stuff there that uh, is Japanese inspired because there's so many Japanese tourists yeah, who I go, to, yeah, yeah, go yeah. to Hawaii yeah. that it's practically an extension of Tokyo Disney to That's some crazy. extent. Yeah. So, and there's a Shelly Mae bag, the big one. That's the Olani version where her bow is like got little whole, like a little tropical prints on it oh, that's and it's multicolored and I really want that one too but it's sold out on okay. the Disney shop store okay um who knows if it'll ever come back I don't want to go to eBay that's okay that's so cute okay right. so that's my Shelly Mae stuff okay um next thing that was ridiculously cute what is this Okay, so Tokyo Disney has. <laughs> Excuse she's me. She's getting ready. <laughs> Excuse me. Tokyo Disney has a ridiculous selection of these headbands, and they have so many different kinds oh um, of different characters. Like you name it, whatever character you think you want, they have it. They even have obscure characters that you don't see. Like they do. 
Roger Rabbit pass holder. They have Roger Rabbit. Chip and Dale has a girlfriend? I didn't know that. I didn't know that. They have a girlfriend. She's everywhere. Um, I have some video of wait, meeting wait. her. Chip and Dale <laughs> have one girlfriend or they both have? Whoa. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how that on? works. I did not ask. I think her name is Clarice or something. Does she have a twin? <laughs> How does that work? I know something about it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> if you know how Chippendale, uh, we'll yeah, it. it's fun. Um, but the one I wanted the most, and because I'm a huge Alice in Wonderland fan, and I love the White Rabbit, um, it was hard to find other merch that was Alice. Um, we ate at the Alice in Wonderland um, restaurant, the restaurant, yeah. Yeah. the the Queen of Hearts restaurant, yeah. a lot. We loved it. Yeah. Um, but otherwise I couldn't find. This was the few, one of the few things I did find and I snapped it right up. Um, I didn't actually wear it in the park though because it was so sweaty and hot and it's kind of like, <laughs> oh it's a fabric headband. God. But how freaking cute is this? <laughs> oh, those are really cute. It is and I must say, these ears are standing up. It's not flappy know, at all, so I that's know. impressive. That it is, is so cute. I'm really excited to wear it once it, sto it stops being too sweaty. Yeah. Because I feel like I would just sweat right through the band. Yeah. I mean, you could wash it. It's n it's the fabric is soft and it's nice. It's meant. But how cute is that? It's ridiculous. Now, how much was this one? That I took the price tag off. I don't oh, know you why. Wore it. You wore it. I tried to wear it, and then I was like, oh, it's too hot. Um, this is probably around twenty dollars. Maybe a little bit less. Um, and seriously, it was over 20 different characters um, that you could get stuff. Pass holder. Pass holder. Because <laughs> you know I had to get a pass holder. Now, they have pass holders of every single character you could possibly think of. It gets crazy. It gets right. a little nutty. Honestly, like, <clears throat> I thought I would use this pass holder more than I actually did. I don't know why. I think it's because I was, I wanted to hold other things, yeah. and there were too many things that I wanted to hold that just didn't fit in this pass holder case. Because if you unzip it, it doesn't actually hold all that much. It's kind of small. It doesn't even fit a phone. But the reason why Japanese people wear this is that their currency is mainly coins. Yeah. So they put the, the coins, coins in there, not paper, but coins. Yeah. So I will say, you just putting it around your neck. No, and holding wear it, it like this. Just hold it. They just yeah. wear it like this around their neck. And they just walk around with this, and then maybe the backpack, and yeah, and, and then it's easy access out. to everything. Yeah. They still have paper fast passes in Japan, although the app just got launched there, oh, so really? they're starting to transfer over to digital fast passes, which is really cool. So who knows if you know these will necessarily be? I mean, I'm still fashion wise and collectible wise, like they're known for their pass holders, but. Um, I don't know how uh, relevant, relevant they'll be, unless it's really like to hold your annual pass, I think so, yeah. right? Um, or to hold any kind of credit card or whatever. And they also have a really great transit system, so some people use this to put their train car um, and then just swipe it as they go through turnstiles, um, but this is the burger bag. I actually saw quite a few people at Disneyland with these on when we were there the past few days. Yeah, so we were at Disneyland for only two days, but I saw a bunch of people wearing like the all over print shirts. Some people were carrying this mm -hmm. burger bag. Some people were carrying um, a lot of the Tokyo the hats, yeah, merch. The ears, yeah. But I noticed a lot of people who did have these, yeah. um, they were fake. The real ones definitely, they have this print on the strap, right? Really? The, yeah, and uh, the lettuce, the the fur, the lettuce, it's a different quality. The fake ones, it's not, it's a slightly different texture on this. Um, and you want to make sure that, you know, you do have it hidden, Mickey, but that the stitching is all clean. Like, it's really good quality, the stuff you get in Japan. Yeah. And like the cheaper versions, like you don't necessarily always see the right strap. Okay. So just be aware that uh, these are online, 
but go to a reputable yeah. person. Yeah, um, I will say um, Zippity Duda. I don't know if you watch her on YouTube. Yeah, 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 yeah. She did a whole comparison between what a real one looks like and what a fake one looks like. Mm -hmm. So check out her video. Um, I'll link it down below too because yes. it it's it's important to know. Like if you don't care whether it's real or not, then whatever. But if you're paying money because you, you think should care, you should care. Yes. And especially if you're paying the shipping charges, you don't want to get a fake one. So just be aware that that's out there. Cool. You want to wear that for the rest of the video? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay. So because it is also Japan, they love plastic bags. Now this is something I do hope that the change, just in terms of like environmentalism, like. Every time you buy something, they ask you, is it a gift? Or they don't even ask, they just assume. And they just give you multiple bags. I have so many of these single-use plastic bags from them. No matter what I bought, they just gave it to me. Either small ones, medium-sized ones, giant ones. Like, I have so many of these bags. Um, like legitimately so many um, and I'll keep them I mean I don't know I'm not gonna use these um, Joyce can you can take them you can use them for something um, either gifting back or just using but it's like so much stuff I don't really need it um, another thing that Alan kept because I don't know he's kind of sentimental about stuff uh, he what was that? <laughs> he kept this stuff. It's 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 literally <laughs> the cardboard tray that comes with your meal. Aww. We got it in Toontown, and it comes. Um, Aww. it's like Mickey and Minnie. It's like silhouettes, Chip and Dale, Goofy, Daisy and Donald, and like Aww. this is the little insert where your soda goes in. Um, I have. I'll, uh, I'm gonna post up some our Japan vlog videos, our Tokyo Japan vlog videos. But one of the best meals was at Toontown. It was the Donald shrimp. Oh yeah, you were burger. talking about the shrimp burger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So good. Which is, I think, why he kept this because I kept going on and on about the shrimp burger, and I wanted to go back and eat it, but we ran out of time. Okay. That literally, it literally was the best meal. <laughs> it was so good, so good. Oh my god, I have so much stuff in here. What is all this stuff? Oh. More bags. Like, I just kept it all because I didn't know what to do with them all. Okay, in this little bag, I have pins. Now, Japan does have some pins. They're not pin crazy like the US. They used to be. What? They used to be pin crazy and then um, they banned it. Why? Because people went nuts. So? And they couldn't control it. When, what? Yeah. Japan is a, has a huge pin collector cult, uh, like a collector culture. So when they go uh, hardcore, it kind of becomes so competitive, it gets dangerous. So a few years a few years ago, they stopped pin collecting altogether. Um, I know that. They still sell pins, but they you can't trade pins there. And the pins that they have available now are not as good as the U.S. pins, I think. They don't have as many. No. They don't have as many. I mean, they still do. So some of them, I decided to get ones that I thought were uh, rides that I really liked or oh, pins yeah. that I liked. So definitely, um, one of the first things, we went during June, end of June and July, and it was a Tanabata days. So it's like, uh, it's so this is the pin. There. Um, it's Mickey and Minnie and then Chip and Dale uh, as little stars. So this is kind of a little folk story. It's a mythology about uh, a, a princess and a prince who are separated um, across the galaxy and they can only meet once a year um, during twilight of July 7th. And so that's the only time these lovers can meet. Uh, and Chip and Dale are so cute. They had a whole bunch of merch, but by the time I got there, it was sold out. Aww. So the pin was the only really thing left. Aww. I wish, because they have little stuffed versions of Chip yeah, and Dale. I, I thought you were gonna get it. Oh, sorry. No, sold okay. out. Right, that's right, the right. thing about Japan. Like, if you like things there, they sell out so quickly that you have to really be careful. 
um, what's going on because I know, aren't they so cute? Oh, they're cute. That's really nice. So if you ever get to go um, during June and July Tanabata days, um, it's really cute. I recommend it. Okay. Uh, the next pin I got was from Monsters Inc. The Ride and Go Seek. Um, I actually really liked this ride. Oh, by the way, the, each of the pins were just ten dollars. Mm. Right? For Disney pins, mm. that's not bad. They're usually like fourteen, fifteen, or higher. Or sometimes like the specialty pins, you can get them thirty. Yeah. Especially this is just like a special event. That would easily be like twenty-five bucks. Yeah. yeah. So ten bucks for that pin. Yeah, this is the Monsters Inc. Hide and Go Seek pin. Um, focus, there we go. Um, it's super cute. Uh, I liked this ride a lot more than the other ride, more than Honey, Who's Honey Hunt. Why? This one, uh, it just was more fun. Okay. It's much more interactive. Like you ride around and basically you. Uh, hold a flashlight, you ride around and the flashlight um, glows on certain parts mm -hmm. of the ride and then basically um, you have to find Boo right? because she's, you have to find Boo because she's lost and then you get to uh, see her and like it, whenever you do your flashlight it interacts and something happens okay. and it's a lot of fun. Cool. Cool. Um, the next, I think this is my last this is the last pin that I bought specifically as a pin. Okay. Was, uh, ooh, it's like swirling around like crazy. It's, this is also $10. This is Pooh's Honey Hunt. Here we go. Uh, just to commemorate the trip and what we went to go and do, it's fun. Um, this was an okay ride. Now, when people go to Tokyo Disney, they rave about this ride, so I was they really do. anxious and I was excited to hear her opinion of it. It was... okay. I like the Pooh ride at Disneyland, Anaheim. I like the interactive queue at Disney World. That was oh, fun. Yeah, the Pooh, good. the setting. Yeah, 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 so yeah. to me, it feels like a mishmash of both of those things, plus the carriage ride of Ratatouille. Oh, I love doesn't Ratatouille. That, doesn't that make it Right? Like, doesn't that make it like an amazing ride? I feel like the Ratatouille ride is a lot of fun. I love where it goes and how it goes. The Pooh Honey Hunt ride, it didn't have a lot of story. It's like our Pooh ride here in Anaheim, where like you basically go into Pooh's dream, and then he like uh, eats honey. He dreams about it. He gets freaked out by Huffalumps and woozles. And woozles. <laughs> and then wakes up from the dream and then all his friends are there for a birthday party. It's the same thing. It's just that you're riding around in this thing and you like bounce with Tigger, but the bouncing with Tigger scene lasts two seconds. Oh. And then it's over. That and then cool, most of the ride is actually in Hufflumps and Woozles and like spinning around that area. Oh. But I hate those characters. Oh. Like I really don't like them. No, um, I like the idea of it. Right? I, mean, I just wish it had a different storyline than what it did. Um, I really loved the honey popcorn, though, that one here. Um, I got the popcorn bucket. It's awesome. Um, it's up on my shelf, but I'll, I'll show you uh, the clip of what it looks like. It's The honey popcorn was so good. But you can only have so much of it before it was like, okay, no more honey popcorn. Well, you just want regular popcorn. Okay, these other things are pins. One is a pin and the other is actually charms. So in both Disney t Disneyland and C, there's areas where you can play games. And they're just like carnival games. And if you play them, like either you're, you know, shooting a ball into a hole or a basket or something, if you win, you get a plush. And the plushes you got were like a chip doll or, or a Dale doll with like giant heads and they're super cute. But these games are hard. Mm. But if you lose, technically, because you have to pay to play, you still get a prize. <laughs> Sorry, you didn't get through one, but we'll just do this. And you get to choose too, but like once you, once you, <laughs> once you are a loser, they <laughs> take out this board and like, okay, which character do you want? There's lots of different characters that you can get. So in uh, Disney Sea, 
there was a whole section. Where was it Disneyland? I forget which one. But um, you get these charms. Charms are cute. I have a few of them in my bag, and I have this is Donald and Daisy. It's cute. I have an Eeyore one, I have a Pooh cute. one, and they're like little adventurers. Aww. So I just put them on my zipper pulls on my bag, and so they're cute. And then in the other park, you do get pins. And interestingly, oh, it's hard, it says Disney Sea. Okay, at Disneyland, you get the charms. At Disney Sea, you get pins. Next things. So, I said I love Alice. Did I tell you how many times we ate at Queen of Hearts? How many times? Oh. Okay. Three times? <laughs> All right, she really likes that. <laughs> and when you go, you can get little commemorative dishes. Yay. So, this is like, um, I would say cake size if you buy dessert. Yeah. They'll give you a little cake, si cake size of this little plate. It is porcelain. And it's really nice. So as you're eating, what they do is they, they will give you this plate with your food and they also give you... Oh, so like a... You can't take yeah. It. To take it home with you. Because they yes. know. Yes. You're not going to... It's just for souvenir yeah, yeah, purposes. Yeah, yeah. So this is the Queen of Hearts Banquet Hall. And on the back it says Tokyo Disney. Super cute. I really like it. It's nice and heavy. It has good half to it. Yeah. And along with the plate... There's also a little mug. So the mug is super cute. And it has the Queen of Hearts in there. The Cheshire Cat. And I love how the mug handles the heart. It's really cute. Yeah, so this is the set and they go together. We went back <laughs> to the restaurant. And I got more stuff. You can also get a plate. Not only can you get a cake and a cup, you can also get a plate at the banquet hall. This, however, is plastic. Um, so I, I don't know if, how much I want to use this because you know how plastic plates, when you use it a lot, it scuffs up. Mm -hmm. And when you wash it, you can get, it Just gets kind of things. Like, uh, stuff that you want to use I would say this is not dishwasher yeah. safe. Be careful when you're using this stuff, I would say. Hand I will wash. use it hand wash. I will use this very sparingly, but this is the Queen of Hearts plastic plate. I love it. It's shaped as a heart and it's got all the characters, it's got the cards. I love the color. It says Tokyo Disneyland on the back. And this is about $10. So for an extra $10, you get this. Um, this didn't come with food, but this came with like a little dessert inside of it in a plastic cup. Oh. So it kept it clean. Um, and I feel like at Disneyland, if you get, like with those souvenir mugs you got at Galaxy's Edge, mm -hmm. like they jack up the prices by like 20, 30 bucks, 40 bucks easily, right? The dessert for this was like $10 with the cup. The plate as well, this was $10. Like, it's so nice. <clears throat> it's so nice. Oh, it's so nice for this. It's pretty. I know. Oh, okay. Next time I go, next time I go. Because I will be eating there again. Um, when we went to Toontown, they had another plate. Another plate. So cute. This one was Mickey shaped. Um, it's got all the characters in it. This is Tokyo Disney Resort. Um, it's got all the different lands. It's so cute. Isn't it so cute? Alright, so I said that it's... Excuse me. Excuse <laughs> Joyce me. is getting ready. Excuse me. Now, I told you before <laughs> that when you see something, you have to get it because if you go anywhere else, you won't be able to find it. This is one of those things where I saw somebody walking around with that, with it on, and I said, I have to find this. Where did that girl get that? And I looked everywhere. Really? Everywhere! Yeah. And again, one shop, randomly in Tokyo Disney Sea, which is not Disneyland, yeah. way at the bottom uh. of a shelf, I found this guy. <laughs> and yes, it's a headband. And it's hanging on! It has a little butt. <laughs> so cute! 
It's so cute. I actually saw somebody wearing it at Disneyland yesterday and I was like, oh, but isn't it so cute? <laughs> little poo, he's like hanging onto your head. <laughs> oh, I love this little green filigree accent. I know, really the little leaf. Yeah, oh, I like it. isn't it so cute? So instead of just like ears, you have little poo. And they have these in a lot of characters too, right? Or just poo? They have one with um, Donald. Oh, right. Yeah. And they had one with Chippendale, but it, they they circulate different characters at different seasons, and so they don't always have, always have it at the same time. But this poo one, I was like, I have to find him. Because it's so cute. cute. I just... <laughs> I lost it. Okay. This thing, I was so excited to bring home. Um, if you don't know what this is or haven't seen it before, Tokyo Disney has soap dispensers at various points in the park that actually, when you pump it, it pumps out a little foam Mickey on your palm. So cute. It is ridiculously cute. And this was only $12. They had a whole stash of them. Oh, can I say these ears? This was only $16. Or $14. For ears, ears right now at Disneyland cost, without annual pass holder discount, is $28 now. Easily 30, yeah. With tax? Yeah. And they're not even like the really complex looking ears, it's just like no. sequin, plain color, no pattern, no character. And sometimes they're not even that well made, like you can tell, 15 bucks, 14 oh bucks. And it's like, you've got a plush on your head, so cute. Ask I, I, Next time, next time. I, you should come with me next time, it's so good. Anyway, this is $12, they had tons of these. Pump it out, bring home your own soap. It's actually full and this is plastic. So I wasn't afraid of putting this in my suitcase because it was easy to pack um, and it, I knew it wasn't gonna break and spill all over the place and I, I'm glad that they deliberately did it that way. Um, but yeah. So I nice. used up my soap already and I refilled it with refillable soap and it works just It fine. still works? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. That's good to know. It's fine. That's really good. I love it. That was like my, the best. This is so good, right? The best thing. And it's, it's, it's a nice way to like bring back magic at home and like you can't get this anywhere else you except can. for Tokyo Disney. Yeah. So whenever you're like washing your hands, you're just like, Sometimes the most boring parts of your day when you're just like, I wash my hands, like, at least this makes it a little extra special. It's, it's, it's fun. Magic in yeah. your hands. It's fun. It's cute. Getting oh. to the bottom of that. Oh. No! Oh, there's okay. more stuff! Never mind. I spoke too soon. There's more stuff. Are we still going for the Disney? This is still, di <laughs> still Sorry, Disney there's stuff. Other things. Okay. okay, so it's Tanabata days, and so I told you that there was a special event, so when you go, there's more souvenir stuff. So this is also porcelain. It's a little cup, and it's got Mickey and Minnie, mm -hmm. and it's them pretending to be the the goddess and the god who are separated. So you can see the story here. Here is that Mickey is far away from his princess Minnie, and they are sad to be separated together. And then once a year, they can be brought back together. They're oh, reunited, and they can make a wish. So that's really cute. And this is like a little teacup. Um, and depending on what you bought, it's usually with a, a dessert or a food item. And I got two of these. So we have a matching pair oh, of these cute. two cups. Yeah. I like that. And here's the other cup. Really oh yeah, Chip and Dale are the little <laughs> star, the little star buddies. That's a really cute character. So I have these two, they're super cute. And along with the teacups, I also got, of course, it's Japan. Uh, they, these are a special. Are those for Tanabata Days as well? Or? This is for the Tanabata Day celebration. And I got a special meal with this oh. at one of the places. It was really good. It was like Japanese style. Oh, I saw that guy. What's his, what's his name that does all the Tokyo reviews? TDR Explorer. TDR Explorer, he, he, yeah. Yeah, he's yeah, yeah, been there. So yeah, check yeah, out, yeah. 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 So this is, the, this is the Disney uh, Tanabata Days 2019. And here are these chopsticks. They're super cute. Yeah. Um, and they're just a plain set, but the tops are really cute. 
they're like realistic chopsticks or like or wood chopsticks, right? Yeah, they're wood and they've got the grooves on them. I only got one set mainly because the the meals were kind of expensive and interestingly chopsticks are really expensive at Tokyo Disney. That's weird. You'd think it wouldn't be, but in in terms of all the souvenirs, they are the most expensive. Um Easily fifteen dollars a pair of chopsticks. <laughs> She's looking at the next thing. <laughs> but I didn't. I wanted to buy more chopsticks, but it's like I didn't want to pay fifteen dollars for chopsticks. I just. Yeah. Okay, this next thing is ridiculous, but only as ridiculous as uh, Tokyo can be. But yes, also really practical. <laughs> I saw this on the show, and I was just like, <laughs> oh my god, I need to get this, because it's hilarious. Oh, so, funny. it's Mike Wazowski, who has one eye, so that makes it the more ridiculous, because he's here to help you <laughs> hold your glasses for two eyes, so it's just a plastic it's plastic little holder and it's got like the Monsters Inc. logo, it's Mike Wazowski, um, and it's got a place in the back to like balance your ears. So basically what you do is you could put your glasses here and it, he holds your glasses for Excuse you. Me. Okay, Juice is gonna try them. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> he holds your glasses for you! What? Because who hasn't, in the middle of the night, if you have glasses, you know this trouble, reached over to find your glasses on your nightstand and you can't find them, and then they drop on the floor, and then you're blind and you can't see them, you can't find them, and then if you only had Mike Wazowski to help you hold them, then you could find them again. That's telling you, Japan has the cutest so cute. ideas. Did they have that idea with other characters? Yes, I saw this one with another character. I forget which one it was, but it wasn't as funny because that mm. character had two eyeballs. Oh, okay. I it's get funny it. because yeah, my, yeah, 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 yeah. he only has one eyeball. If I had to get that, I would. Yeah, like he would. Be, and I like Monster Sinks and yeah. I like Mike Wazowski, so this was oh, definitely funny. like, oh my god, I need to do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what else do I have? Oh. So, um, stationary Disney Tokyo is a must. Um, this is a food guide. It's a notepad. Um, it has all of. It doesn't have all the food. I wish it had more of the good food stuff. Like it doesn't have the Donald bun on here, which I think is good. But I've had the banana walnut muffin. I've had the coffee, the mini ice bar. I've had the Mickey, the Mike's melon bread, which is not. Not as good, not very good. Once again, it's just like an item that people talk about. They rave like about it. the melon bread and my sister says, good. no, no. no. Um, I've had the little green dumplings, mochi, not good. What about the Star Wars uh, Stormtrooper ones? Not good. Oh. The mochi's not good. I've had better mochi. Really? In Japan? It, yeah. It tastes very chemically and it doesn't taste fresh and Do you good. Think because it's not produced? Yeah. Uh, I had the gyoza sausage bun. That was really, really good. So let me take it out of its case. This is only $3.80. $3.80 for stationery. Easily at Disney World, at Disneyland or Disney World, this would be like $10. Oops. Mm. Yes. So inside the list are these cuties. So you can get different kinds and styles of lists to do, which is really cool. Um, the notepad itself, fun food at Disneyland, um, and then inside it's a checklist. Things to do. Yeah. I think this is our last thing. No, no, no. Almost last. Um, back in July, even now, it gets really, really hot. And one of the things that people do is they specifically buy towels to wipe up their sweat. No, no, no. The reason is is that in the bathrooms they don't have hand towels for you. That too. 
they grab these. Yeah, everybody has one of There's these. There's no their paper bags. towels in bathrooms. Not even um, hand dryers. They don't have. They some of them have hand dryers. But most places don't have hand dryers or paper towel dispensers. So everyone carries. Their so own towel. you go in and you have you come out, you are just left with wet hands, or you carry your own towels with you. <laughs> and that's really cute. You'll be ready. So this is Chip and Dale, one of my two favorite characters. I will say I tried to find as much Chip and Dale merch as possible because it's such a such it's so cute. So cute. So that. Um, I didn't actually get to use it when I was there because I didn't want to use it. It was just yeah. so nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but I'll use it at home. It'll be really cute. This might be the last thing I have, yeah, I have to show you. Japan loves collecting things and so one thing they do have is this collection thing. It's basically a holder, folder for your tickets and any of the guide maps that you can bring home as souvenirs. So this one's for Tokyo Disney Resort and it has both Disney Sea and Tokyo Disneyland and it has like all the different um, places that you can go and you visited and then inside when you open it up you have a spot for all your guide maps and then tickets, fast passes or whatever like in here we put um, I. I think I took home a lot of guide maps. It looks like you took them. <laughs> I think I have multiples of guide yeah. maps. Oh yeah, no, no, Disneyland, Disney Sea. They have so many like pieces of paper. <gasps> yeah. So they have one for foods and goods, <clears throat> right? They have these today maps, which outline like all the special um, events and foods and merchandise that you can go. This one is, and they have it in a different um, languages too, they're all different languages. This outlines like all the parades and shows and where to go and what to do, where to see things. Um, they also have this, this in particular, these food guides are in English, uh, foods and goods, but it doesn't have everything that's in these today guides. So this is much more um, complete in terms of all the stuff. And if you're ever interested, um, if you're ever interested, uh, TDR Explorer, if you go to his channel, he actually translates and goes through each of these by the month, so you can check them out. Okay. Um, oh, I lied. Oh, right, 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 we right, have right, more. Right. And this, I sent some of them to you. Yes. So in some of the shops, and mainly in Toontown, there are Mickey, uh, Disney, Gotcha pawn machines. So they have these little, you know, you put in the quarters, yeah. coins. It's like, mm. I think it was mm. 300 yen per turn. And it was, it was all different Disney foods. Oh, I did this four times? Three times? How many did I give you? I got the waffle. That's it. You got me. Okay, so I did waffle. it three times. And, so, um, and what's cool about these things too, and I can show you afterwards, so you get it, and they're little keychains, so I think I got two of these, which is why I gave you one of them. Okay. Um, and they're, it's basically, <laughs> so ridiculous. It's a Mickey waffle charm with a little Mickey plate. So if you wanna remember what your Mickey waffle looked like, this is what it looks like. Um, it's really cute. And what's nice about it too is that the plastic thing it comes in can also be hung like an ornament. So you can put something else in it and just hang it like an ornament from your tree. Or just hang it as an ornament. Or just hang it as an ornament because it's basically like a monkey yeah. butt. Yeah. So that was that one. And the second one I got. This one you didn't open, you're still Oh, I'm opening this on camera then. What other um, food options did they have besides that oh, one yeah. and the... Okay, so the second one I got was the... Um, okay, this one. When you open it, it comes with like a little paper that tells you. So here, look at the 
options. Those are the options that you could get. <clears throat> I really wanted to spend all day there and just keep Oh, I would have wanted the Mickey hand. I know. And oh. Yeah, the Donald, but I really. So these are the other yeah. options you can get. So you can get the Disney waffle, I mean the Mickey waffle, the Donald bun, the bow bun, and then the Mickey ha hand hamburger. Oh, those are cute. Yeah. But the other one I got um, was this one. <laughs> I know, the churros. Oh my god. They're ridiculous. Oh. They're little churros, but they also, at the end, I don't know how well you can see that. Um, they're Mickey shaped. Oh my god. They're ridiculous. Um, but it's just a little charm. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. I will say that it's like, the churros there were not good. What? I know. They look super cute. They look super cute. Wait, how, they, can, how can you screw up a churro? Like, how? I think because of the way they're shaped, that they shaped like the Mickey, mm -hmm. um, it didn't allow for enough like fluffiness inside of the churro. Was it dense? It was really dense, that's what it was. Oh. It was really packed and it was really dense and it made chewing it, like the, the good thing about churros here is that it's crunchy on the outside and on the inside mm -hmm. it's like, ooh, cakey. Yeah. But here it felt like crunchy and hard and a little dry. Oh bummer. Yeah. I really liked the potato uh, churro at Disney Sea. Well, which basically tasted like a giant gnocchi. Okay. That's good. Um and I think that actually is it for all of my Disney stuff plus that. What was your favorite thing out of the <sighs> gazillion things that I bought? Uh, um <laughs> and then what's coming close is the Mickey burger. Yeah, the burger bag. The burger bag, burger pass holder, anything burger that that's really cute. Yeah, yeah. 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 I got you a burger pass holder. You did. You yeah. did. I think, yeah. like I think for me, yeah, the Mike was is, so is, the, is one of my favorite and practical. things. Practical. That's what it is. It's practical and it's cute. Oh. Um, you know, it'd be funny if they had a little button and it played the music. Or it said something, like, I've got my eye on you. <laughs> I just feel like of all the things, this is definitely my favorite because uh, it's so ridiculously practical. And where else would you find this? I just feel like you can't though. This is another yeah. one of those things where you're never gonna find it anywhere That's else really and it's so cute. cute. So definitely this. Yeah. Um, yeah, so let us know down below which was your favorite because I mean, there's so much to choose from, which is kind of and crazy. I feel like this is like not even half of the merchandise that's available in no. Tokyo, Disney, and Disney Sea, and Shanghai <sighs> you didn't get to go to, so who knows what no. they have in Shanghai. I, I thought I shopped a lot, and unwrapping all of this, I feel like, yeah, I, I kind of bought a lot too, but there was a lot I put down and didn't get. I've seen hauls where people buy like like five to ten pairs of these. Or the pass holders. The pa like yeah. all the pass holders. They buy all the pass holders. I didn't even go near any of the clothing. I didn't like all over print shirts. I didn't even get to that. Those, those are a little more ex were more a little more expensive so I didn't go for that stuff. But like they had so much more home good things that I didn't bring home. Things that anything that were breakable, I didn't touch as well. Which so, is a bummer because I think what I liked also was the Genie uh, Aladdin merchandise. Yeah. That was really cute with the Genie, um, what do you call it, gravy boat or yeah, they like had a curry, teapot, curry boat. Really um, there was an entire giant like body pillow shaped like oh Genie. Like there's so many things I couldn't even, I could barely fit things into suitcases. So I think in terms of like things I wanted to bring back, like because I was constrained by space in my bag and frankly just weight, um, there was so much there that you could easily mail back to yourself um, that 
you could go crazy. Yeah, they have like but, um, rice scoopers, they have uh, tissue paper. <gasps> Wait, paper. I did buy a rice scooper. Where's my rice scooper? You gave it to Alma. No, I bought another one. Never mind, hold it. <laughs> Apparently, there's more. There's one more rice scooper. Where's my rice scooper? Did you use it already? Oh, I know. I bought one more thing. So, we're not done yet. I thought I was done. Hold on a minute. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. What? Sorry, I was <laughs> The plate, this is plastic. Um, it was summertime, so they had a whole Toy Story 4 just come out and there was a crazy amount of stuff. So if you buy a di if you buy a dessert thing, you got this. Um, I played oh, it to a Disney cute. Resort. I like that. Oh, yeah. I'm glad you said the rice what? scooper. Yeah. I totally forgot we had a rice scooper. Really? This is a rice scooper. I got it. It's Donald's foot. Oh, uh, sanitary. <laughs> I know. Why would you scoop rice at Donald's feet? I don't want Donald's feet anywhere near my rice. But it's cute. Um, I got my mom the mini one. Yeah. Yeah. It was her so, hand, so her yeah, white, a little, and, yeah, and she has bow. a little glove and like a little bow. Whoa. There's a Mickey Mouse one yep. too. It's, it's a rice scooper. I mean, at least it's practical for Asian people or people who eat a lot of rice. Oh, um, and on the it's like a little sailor thing, which is really cute. So oh, definitely oh. Donald. And I always try to get oh, a magnet. Cute. Yeah, and this scooper was five dollars. Five dollars. I should have gotten more. But it's like, how much rice am I gonna scoop? Can we use it today? Yeah, we can use it today. I totally <laughs> forgot I bought that. Um, and then <laughs> this magnet. I got. I like getting the magnets that have. Like I got one at Disneyland Paris, and I wanted to get one at um, yeah. Tokyo. So the Tokyo Disneyland magnet oh, yeah. looks like this. Um, I like those magnets. Super cute. I love how they have all the different characters yeah. and you can see how they kind of represent themselves if it's Disney Tokyo. Yeah. Um, so that was really cute. I'm gonna put this on the fridge next to the Disneyland Paris one because yeah. it's the same style actually. Cool. Yeah, cool. so it's really nice. Yeah. Um, on the back magnet. This was six dollars. Okay. Right? Yeah. Anywhere else. Disneyland, this kind of magnet. Bucks. 10, 12 dollars easily, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, now I swear. You better double check before you say this. I swear I'm done. Mm hmm. Oh my god, is that? Wait a minute. What? The D. Stitch. Ah, uh, you know what I thought it was? Yeah. I thought it was. Um... The rabbit is. Oh. No, more bags. Oh, oh geez. More bags. Why so many bags? I'll take the bag. No. Joyce will take the bags. Are you sure that's it? I swear. Okay. I swear that's it. That took. I mean, no. That's... Crossing my fingers means I'm lying. No, no, no. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm done. I'm really, uh, I'm really done. Yeah. Anyway, again. <laughs> Let us know which one is your favorite. Um, was there anything that we got that you also got because you loved? Did you see this at Disney Par uh, Disneyland Tokyo, at Disney Sea? There's so many things and like little nooks and crannies and shops everywhere that I was just like, what are all these things? Like I wish, I wish we had spent more time. So like before, <laughs> tell us what you liked about this haul. Have you gone to these parks before? What did what did you like? You agree, disagree? What's or up? if you want to go, what is the one thing you really want to go? Um, if you want to know more more about my my trip planning process, yes. or do you want that video? Yeah, what it was like. Let me know, and I can kind of go She'll through that. I can help you out. We, I'm I'm a crazy planner, and I I research things extensively. Um, so I can let you know what that was like, where we stayed, all that stuff. All of those videos are right. coming Hotels, soon. Bookings, yeah, um, I will let you know what those look like because it was a lot of work, but ultimately it made our trip a lot smoother. Yeah. 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 
All right, so we'll see you next time. Yep. Wish you were here. Bye. Bye.